some light switch repositioning the, and the Swift here Swift decided to put the light switch for the central area of the caravan in here and the light switch for the main living room quite easy to access over the other side of the kitchen but this one is pretty inaccessible but once you put your TV in here your router and a hard drive you're fishing around in the dark into here to actually uh, look at it so my plan is to change that, that light switch the actual hole in the wall into a two or three pin socket and route the light switch down the duct behind it the, the, the timber duct that's formed then into the back of this cupboard in the corner and then out through the front and mount the light switch here somewhere so that when you come in the door your light switch is just here on and off which seems fairly straightforward let's see how we get on so under one of the front benches is the uh, main EC600 command sergeant power supply unit uh, and on the on the lid shows you which breaker does what so I've I've pulled the breaker out of this slot to, to isolate that circuit and you can see the red light indicates that that's not functioning as a circuit so I've marked it off where I'm where I hope to drill I'm just going to use this uh, fairly simple hole saw on my uh, on my cordless drill formed so now I've just got to reroute the cable right so first job is to prise this cover off that reveals four screws Once you've got all four screws out, just lifts out, and there's the two wires. One with the blue line on it, one with the red line. So what I've done, I've marked it up red and blue, just so that I, I know which one goes where when I when I disconnect it and pull those wires through the duct. So in order to pull that wire through and fish it through little tiny hole in the back corner of the cupboard below here and then through to here I'm going to uh, use one of these coat hangers so I've got the uh, coat hanger through there and there and I think I'll just tie a little bit of string to the end of the coat hanger string through so then that's the string doing the pull draw cord so I'll disconnect it from here tie it onto here and then pull that wire back through so we'll pull that through perfect
understand. Now I can mount that in there. So that's that installed, which leaves the hole it came out of, which I'm going to convert to a socket uh, and pair it off one of these sockets above. I've ordered that from Sergeant, should come in the next couple of days, and I'll just fit it. Okay, tools you need, cordless or power drill, doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be uh, cordless. Screwdriver for fixing the new fitting on. Insulated screwdriver, not essential really, it's only 12 volt. Braddle for making a hole, making a start, the screw. Hole saw, 48mm, I think I've used a 50mm uh, hole saw, but 48 is really what you need. Some insulation tape just to cover the ends when you pulling it through the, the, the duct, some pair of scissors to cut it, little nipper to pull the fuse out the fuse board, last but no means least, someone's coat hanger, and a little bit of string, it's obviously better pulling the, pulling the cable once you've used the Use the coat hanger to thread it through, tie the string to it, and then you can pull the string through a lot better than you can the wire. The fly swatter, if any flies bother you in the meantime. And a bottle of water if you need a drink, or preferably something stronger. That's it for now, see you later. This is the website that I used, Sergeant limited.co.uk you see it scrolling across the bottom first you select shop then sockets then scroll down there's two types of sockets it's the it's the burka type of sockets that i've got on the caravan uh, click on view and you get the range of sockets and switches that they they use and i selected the single 230 volt socket with the in and out pre-wired uh, plugs in fact, I didn't actually use those plugs as it turned out, but uh, on, on another another installation that I did on the van, they were made the job very simple and, and pretty easy. Although I dare say, at this kind of a price, you're paying a premium for it. I also ordered uh, the uh, uh, single chrome uh, frame 
for around a uh, socket. £8.32 for a little piece of plastic, but so be it. Luckily I only need one of each. The service from these guys is pretty good, stuff comes almost next day. Okay, well today the uh, single socket arrived from Sargent. Just simple single socket with the uh, kind of plug and play adapters and a single bezel. Uh, I should be able to mount those where I took the uh, light switch out. Let's see. So back in the van, this is the uh, single vacant hole that the light switch was removed from. Um, you can see how difficult it was to access as a light switch. The plan is to just spur it off the sockets above. These are different screws, two different types. Okay, to cut a long story short, the plugs to do the plug and play technique are way out of reach, way down the bottom. So I've had to actually hardwire this to the uh, to the socket above. So uh, they're back in. Put this one back in. All the sockets are on the s mounted on the side, so I may as well keep them the same as uh, as daft as that seems. Okay, job done.